she can hold on a reporting for the race. So, this is the final race that we're going to do. And yes, I know the last few episodes has been really short because, well, let's be real. I'm just doing a single race every single event. It's, uh, I have to be honest, it's kind of anticlimactic because it's supposed to be the final race. It should be a lot longer, at least in terms of session, compared to the other race. Like, you know, maybe for example, just make it go all over the world, you know, all over all the track that's available in the game. That will be awesome, but well, I guess they didn't really think about that. But that's fine. The game is still fun. That's for sure. It's just kind of you know how do I the way that and the campaign or the main single player mode is you know kind of a little bit anticlimactic in my opinion. But you know that's fine. I guess. So right. Onto the actual race then, I'm still going to use my lovely, lovely WPL-01 because it's still the best car that I have. In fact, I still really love it because it's just so balanced, in my opinion. At least with, my, with the option that I have. So, you know, it's really advantageous to have this. Oh, I just realized there is a Russell Endurance. <laughs> so RS is Russell Endurance, okay. That's not RS, it's RE. Huh. I don't know what that means. <laughs> well, well, you've come this far. Congratulations. Now let's prove that racing with wills still has a future and is not yet consigned to the past. Let's race against the first example of a flying vehicle scheduled for 2031. Oh, what? Three, two, We're racing against an aircraft? Oh wow, that final is actually an interesting one. I thought there would be any surprise, but there is. But we're not seeing the flying vehicle anymore. So apparently there are they making a new game because it's called for the 2031 because that would be cool, you know. And we are done. Win, of course. I've always wondered if this moment would ever arrive. Finally. We have found a pilot that's able to drive their car to the limit, win every race, and completely capture the enthusiasm of the public. I have never been convinced that abandoning wheels is the right thing to do, and today you have shown us that it is not yet time. Congratulations! You have become the first Xenon Racer Champion. Congratulations! Well, I actually wasn't expecting I'm going to race an aircraft. That's not a flying car, it's an aircraft. <laughs> but that's a pretty cool concept. Are they going to make that? Come on, Dev. <laughs> make that one, please. Especially the one with Itasha Livery again. <laughs> oh, wow, the yeah, I can drive. <laughs> Actually, even unlock. Send and give you wings. <laughs> oh, you no, you don't. Final, and do we know each other? That one achievement, I know that reference, all right. <laughs> that is not even thought, though. Okay, I'm going to turn off my camera here. So, 
Well, we're finally at the end for this single player game here. I mean, maybe I could make some more content, you know, like showcasing each car. That would be nice, actually. I mean, even though I'm pretty sure people, some people already done that. You know, I'm just going to make it, you know, because it's fun. But yeah, uh, seriously, it's a lot of fun. Uh, uh, yeah, the driving physics is not the most perfect. I mean, some of them like, uh, how is it? The the bump can stop you from drifting, which can be uh, frustrating at times because you know that's the line you want to take, but then it just went off, you know. Like I mean, uh, what is it? Usually, I saw a few drift car, well, drift car, drift event video on internet, obviously, and well. There is one time that a Japanese drifter has had their car flying during the drift, and after that, of course, it's continue. You know, uh, yeah. So I feel like it should be like that when it comes to drifting. But then again, you can't have everything right, all right. So yeah. <clears throat> Uh, okay, well, there's some nice concept art here. Okay, that's cool. But anyway. Yeah. The thing is that some of the physics isn't the perf the most perfect, but you can tell that there is a fun in it if you play it. Come on, please make the PC version a bit That's gonna be tricky because if I want to showcase every single part of a car, I have to get that. Yet, so never mind about that. Uh, right. Okay, so this is the Monster Cat music that's listed here. Well, okay, there's a lot of them actually. And uh, most of the time I don't really listen to it because I'm so concentrated in the race. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. It has been fun with this game. That's for sure. I, yeah, maybe I'm just going to leave you with this, I guess. And, well. I'm not going to skip it, that's the thing, I mean, every time I end a game, you know, in a proper way, this should be there. Oh boy. What else, what else do I want to talk about? Oh yeah, that flying vehicle. Um, 3D clouds? Just make one. <laughs> I want to try that as well, you know. <laughs> I mean, you already make a, a model for it. Might as well make an entire lineup for it and let us play with that vehicle, you know? <laughs> an aerial racing game. That will be fun. I mean, there has been a few attempts in the 
past years where some developers back then did make a flying an, an aerial racing games and by far the most fun one i feel is the mach uh, series it well i said series but it's only one it's on So anyway, we are done. So, wait, 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 wait. What? Do we still have one car that have an unlock here? Okay, I'm glad I didn't skip immediately because that will oh, come with a sooner surprise. So, what is this? I wonder. New vehicles. It has a different icon. Okay. Let's have a quick look then, since this is the final episode, so we might as well see what the hell that is. Uh, garage. I mean, I love this car, alright, but let's see what's the last one. Okay, it's not on the last one. Oh, I see. So this is this bonus car is based on one of their other games, the Fruit Racing. I kind of forgot the title, but okay. Of course, the speed is slow. I mean, well, it's a normal GT variant, even though it doesn't look like a GT car. Huh? What do we have? Ah, okay. Not much paint job, I guess, but that's fine. I mean, they, it's funny, they still have put a uh, XR logo there. <laughs> okay, maybe this is one of those stuff that's, you know, showcase only. Uh, rim. So, we cannot change much on this car. Yeah, so, you are stuck with the basic, I guess. Yeah, there's no change at all. I guess this car is just for funsies. So let's say the stats, uh, it, it has low maximum speed. You know what, let's try to drive this real quick. Just want to see what this car's all about. Um, a fast race, please. One single fast race coming up. Let's go to Japan. Yes, I love my Japanese track. 
uh, do the biggest area here, the Tokyo Port, with a single lap. Just want to see how it performs. Um, right, so this refer to the card game basically with original design. Not really original because it's another card game basically, but how do I say this? I never play it, so but I did saw it, so it's kind of like Mario. Mario Kart. Yeah. The asphalt will soon be hot at Tokyo. Okay. Okay, it's funny because it's just the same engine as the other modern car. Okay, this car is huge. <laughs> what the hell? Oh no, uh, this. It won't turn as well as the actual race car. Um, excuse me. How do I say this? It's uh, kind of a relaxing drive compared to the other car that we've been driving this this long. So let's try the boost and see if there's anything different. Okay, nothing really different. But then again, it's already good enough. They have this as a reference to their previous game. Come on, drive! I mean, it turns quite well, kind of like. Um, remote control car in a way. Okay, not really because the remote control car is a lot more sensitive than this. Yes, I do play with remote control cars from time to time. Back then, I mean, this day of course I don't have any remote control car anymore. I mean, I have video games, so why the hell do I want to have a physical thing, I want a real car if I want to play around with an actual car in real life, you know? So, yeah, interesting enough. Uh, oh no, yeah, I forgot the drift. It doesn't have enough drift. So, top speed up to 320. It seems. Yeah, seems easy, but the driving isn't that easy. Oh, but the unfortunate thing with the how the the game handles some animation is that the motion blur affect the entire wheel, right? And since the 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 entire the entire wheels are outside of the body, you can see the blur really clearly. That's a little unfortunate, but it's fine. Car is, well, not exactly fun to drive in this game at least, of course, because well, it's a different game than the actual game that it came from, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has a different driving physics, but I didn't expect I'm driving a car like this. <laughs> oh, well, nice Easter egg, I guess. It's like an old game where you have to unlock every single car and you talk, you unlock everything and then there is another car! <laughs> this is something! Oh, well, I really love it. Oh, why can't more games do this? Put an actual car that you can unlock and then don't tell you about it. Wow. I don't think it's called a secret car, it's a bonus car basically. So yeah, I mean... How many cars do we have actually? In total, including the... DLC. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So yeah, there are 24 cars. Um yeah. You 24 or 25. Maybe I miscounted, but it's around that. Okay. And that is Senon Racer. So yeah, I'm probably going to try still playing it around here and there. But well probably just 
a bit of a uh, challenge here and there. But other than that, well, I don't know what else that I want to do around this game actually. I have a few ideas, but we'll see if it's an interesting enough ideas. So yeah, I'll see you maybe on the next one. Ciao, I guess.